All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon. Earthmaster here back uh, with the live stream. Live stream went down early this morning, about 3.45. Computer reset automatically by itself. It's been a while since it's done that, but uh, apparently somebody's bored again and decides to uh, flip the switch on the channel. Not for sure why, but it is what it is. We'll continue on. Uh, it is December 6, 2021, about 12.40 p.m. Still a little under the weather here um, in the earthquake department far as my voice goes feeling a little bit better uh, no i did not get my my uh my shot i just happened to pick up a head cold somewhere and kind of just taking a few days to get rid of it try to kick it off uh immune systems trying to kick in there but anyway earthquake activity let's talk about what's going on out there on the earthquake 3d globe a latest 2.5 earthquake in the big island of hawaii that in a little swarm or a pretty good sized swarm of earthquake activity in the Pacific Ocean out there. Let's go ahead and check out the latest information here on the USGS map. You can see that earthquake activity uh, really ramping up here on the southeast edge and also right around the Loihi Seamount. I'm talking right smack dab on it. If you look at the map here, uh, southeast corner getting in on some activity there. The southeast flank region sees typical earthquake activity between 15 to 20 earthquakes a day uh, and I, I don't think I've seen a day in the last year or so uh, that they don't have that type of number of earthquakes uh, in this vicinity so it's typical and average to see this earthquake activity here in this section of the Big Island the Loihi Seamount down here we haven't seen a lot of activity except for over the last seven days seen a swarm of activity stretching down towards the undersea volcano uh, this one here is kind of it's picking up steam a little bit, getting a little bit more active when it comes to earthquake activity. Some of this movement down here pretty deep as well. We had one earthquake uh, way up here, away from the, the uh, Lohi Seamount. It's going to be this one right here. Just just a, looks like maybe two miles or so away from this little swarm, which is, of course, southeast of there. This earthquake, 2.9, 44.3 kilometers deep. Some deep movement taking place well below the surface uh, of the ocean floor. This other activity here, about 10, 10 to 6 kilometers or so. Um, I think we've seen the deeper one around 10 kilometers that just struck within the last hour. But uh, most of it, most of it, microquake activity. We did have a 3.5 earthquake strike that region. That was uh, within the last week. Today, two 2.5s kicking up here. So kind of keep an eye on the big island. Uh, and this Loihi Seamount uh, out here, underwater volcano. As far as Kilauea, uh, Kilauea up here in the north, pretty quiet. Don't see a whole lot of earthquake activity. Mauna Loa shown some movement. A uh, little bit of microquake activity up here. But the main picture, kind of the swarm of activity uh, stretching down and ending around the Loihi Seamount in an earthquake swarm. So we're watching it pretty closely. Going to pull up a seismograph station there. Uh, and attach it to the live stream here today uh, pretty soon probably right after the update video uh, some further movement into the pacific northwest of course we've seen that 3.0 earthquake strike yesterday since then we've seen a little swarm of activity to the east of there around uh, tonisket is that right tonisket washington pretty shallow earthquake activity in this little mountain range quite a few twos kicking off lower mid twos in a small little earthquake swarm just east of that three-pointer that struck yesterday. Uh, let's see what else we got. Some further movement around the Seattle area. Looks like some movement out here around the Cascadia as well. Seeing a pretty deep subduction zone quake uh, with, uh, what is that, humped, humped lips? You know, I'm, I think no matter what name comes up, I'm going to attempt to pronounce it. I'm not going to sit here and say, um, yeah, this name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to pronounce it. So if I slaughter it, I'm sorry. Please correct me. I'm very open to constructive uh, criticism in the comment section below. So no worries on that. I'm not going to hurt my feelings. But anyway, uh, pretty deep 1.7 earthquake into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on tremor activity when the map updates later this afternoon. Uh, of course, last night we did see some further tremor activity into parts of Oregon down here uh, in the coastal range, southern around the southern coastal range of uh, the mountains here just about uh, i think it was 20 or so trimmer uh, trimmers being recorded in the slow slip trimmer area which is down dip of the locked area so 
So I'm talking about 25 to 40 kilometers down dip uh, is where we see the tremor activity. And sometimes they build up and produce uh, measurable earthquakes, such as this one, 1.7 down there at 33 kilometers. Uh, a little bit further inland, uh, Hood Sport, Washington, a little microquake 1.2 at 18 kilometers. And some activity, just some microquakes around the Mount Hood area and the uh, uh, Mount Rainier area. I'll see just one or two microquakes around that, uh, around those volcanoes. Uh, the rest of Oregon and Northern California, all very quiet off the coast of Northern California along the southern end, very quiet as well. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of return to movement to the uh, area in Nevada where they seen that 6 point, uh, what was it, 6.5 that struck a couple years ago. Or maybe it was last year. It seems like almost a couple years ago. Still seeing some aftershock activity there and of course the Ridgecrest region getting in on uh, quite a bit of movement as well. Long Valley Super Volcano toning down a little bit. We're not seeing as intense of earthquake activity within this region uh, over the last in the last 30 days or so. We can pop up that map and see a swarm of movement around the Long Valley Super Volcano stretching down to the uh, Bishop area Owens Valley fault zone all showing a pretty significant amount of earthquake activity looking at uh, about 171 earthquakes over the last 30 days within the vicinity of the Long Valley Super Volcano and some of it uh, within the uh, caldera region so uh, that did kick up for a little bit but over the last uh, couple days here things are calming down as you can see on the all magnitudes map here only a couple scattered earthquakes uh, just to the southwest of the long valley super volcano 2.1 near yosemite lakes 4.6 kilometers a little bit of earthquake activity kicking up along the creeping section of the san andreas fault a couple very small microquakes uh, Garlock Fault Structure looks pretty quiet. Ridgecrest, of course, a little bit of earthquake activity. No major swarming to report in the Southern California area and no renewed earthquake activity in the Gulf of California, except for a little bit further south where we did see uh, earlier a 4.0 earthquake 10 kilometers deep, but south of the region that we've been kind of watching up here north in the uh, Gulf of California area. Uh, so still, still a little bit of movement, just not as intense as we have seen over the last week. Activity, of course, throughout the uh, Intermountain West region, Western Montana, down through Yellowstone activity shown a little bit, or Yellowstone Park shown a little bit of activity. There's some microquakes, New Madrid zone, all quiet to the east. Puerto Rico, what do we got out in the Puerto Rico area? One right smack dab. You can't get any closer than that on the Puerto Rico Trench. Puerto Rico region, 3.8, 56 kilometers here. Got to watch this area pretty closely, this region a uh, major player in pro possibly producing a significant size earthquake. Did a little bit of research on this uh, Puerto Rico trench region a couple years ago. The update, uh, the video is uploaded on the channel if you want to check it out. Uh, just look up uh, Puerto Rico trench on my videos. Uh, down south here in the South America region, right around the Peru area, 5.1 striking. And also further down south, a subduction zone quake near Chile. 5.1, 94.7 kilometers. We did see a little bit of movement in the uh, South Sandwich Islands area. <clears throat> see if I can keep this voice going. I got to keep it going. It's just <clears throat> seems like it's the first thing that goes uh, and the last thing to recover when you're uh, recovering from a cold. A couple upper fours and a 5.0 earthquake striking the South Sandwich Islands area. Of course, this earthquake activity uh, striking uh, late last night. We haven't seen any renewed earthquake activity since then. Uh, just basically uh, watching the uh, Hawaii area, the Pacific Plate, a lot of movement there around the Lohi Seamount and West Coast. You can see that activity kind of kicking up there as well. Uh, swarm of movement over here in the Fiji area, 547 kilometers for this uh, earthquake around Fiji. That happened last night. Since then, a little bit of minor adjustment around the Kermadec Trench and the Kermadec uh, Islands area, or yeah, Kermadec Trench. And the Kermadec Islands seen a deeper earthquake activity movement at 4.7 into the subduction zone right here, 72 kilometers uh, for that earthquake activity following the deep movement there in Fiji. Uh, Japan area, just a couple small quakes uh, off the Japan Trench inland, down dip of that trench area. And Indonesia area getting in on some activity as well. Uh, far as the rest of the globe goes, just some scattered earthquake activity. Alaska region along the Aleutian Trench up here getting some a uh, little bit of earthquake activity as well near Perryville, Alaska 4.1 kilometers or 4.1 magnitude at 10 kilometers for that earthquake 
but watching this activity up here north, folks, I did try to pull up the uh, Canadian uh, earthquake activity map, and it's still, well, you can see the activity here. It looks like they have updated it. We are seeing some further movement uh, into the British Columbia area. Seen a 4.0 up north. Of course, there's the earthquake activity in Washington. So we're seeing a little bit of renewed movement up here off the coast of British Columbia. Not a whole lot going on in the northern end of the Cascadia, which sits, uh, let's see if I can get this baby to pull up here a little bit, plate boundaries. Here's the legend, shows you uh, what is what over the last week, month, older. Uh, and the magnitude size chart here. So far, uh, just up in this region here, looks like this earthquake, uh, 4.0, the largest to strike uh, earlier today, 67 kilometers uh, northwest of Fort St. John, BC. The depth of this earthquake, pretty shallow at 2.4 kilometers. A little bit further up north, we did see some further movement as well. Uh, looks like uh, right outside the Juneau, Alaska area, 3.1. We are seeing that movement up here uh, north of Vancouver Island at the northern end of the Cascadia. Northern end of the Cascadia kind of ends right here. Uh, and we come into this little movement up here uh, off the uh, Pacific and the North American plate, 2.1 uh, village of Queen Charlotte, BC. 11 kilometers for that pretty deep earthquake uh, there <clears throat> off the coast. Like I said, the Cascadia looks pretty quiet now, but we're definitely seeing some movement inland into BC area and uh, around the Alaska region inland uh, with some earthquake activity up here as well. Uh, latest looks like a 1.4. Uh, just happening a short time ago. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm going to jump off here before I completely squeak my voice into a mouse. Uh, which it seems like it's headed that way. I will be back a little bit later. Like I said, live stream is up and running. And uh, hopefully it stays that way. And sometimes weird things happen at 3 something in the morning. Last time it happened was at 3.33 a.m. When my uh, laptop shut down completely. Shut down the stream. And uh, it's been a while since it's done it. It's been a couple weeks, but uh, last night I decided to do it again at 3.45. And it's not, a, it's not an update or anything on, on my system because I have all that turned off. It's just, uh, I don't know, not for sure what's going on. But we'll figure it out and we'll keep on, keep on, keep it on, right? All right, guys, have a good day. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace.